Hi, this is Bob Aicino coming to you from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago talking crude oil futures. Crude started off the day higher, getting up to 49.39, 49.40 or so, and then came off as the EIA figures came out, and the EIA figures came out as expected. With the hurricane, we expected stockpiles of gasoline to rise, and they did, 4.6 million barrels, which was as expected. So the idea that there was going to be a crude oil stockpile build was expected, and the amount that crude oil was going to build by was hit almost exactly to the barrel at 4.6 million. Now, gasoline stockpiles fell, but they fell less than expected, coming in down about 3.7 million barrels. They're expected to fall somewhere in that 5 million range as stockpiles of gasoline were pulled out when the refinery situation shut down due to Hurricane Harvey. Now, going forward, all data we get is Hurricane Harvey affected until that all clears out? And we still don't know with Hurricane Irma bearing down on Puerto Rico on its way in toward Florida, still could veer into the Gulf, not likely at this point, could affect some drilling. So literally for the foreseeable futures, one more hurricane behind Irma that we have yet to talk about. We'll talk about that as it becomes pertinent. But this is all hurricane affected data now and that gasoline fall being less than expected kind of pushed down prices a little bit as that report came out. Now the biggest thing is refinery utilization now. That's actually going to be the biggest part of the data in the short term, the data we get from the EIA. Refinery, refinery utilization rates fell to 79.7, that's down 17% from where it was. We were above 95. Now, if you know anything about refinery runs, being in that 95, 96% of capacity, which is what a refinery run is, is essentially full capacity. There's always parts of a refinery that are being shut down for maintenance, repairs, and the like. And again, this past week, we only got up 79.7%. You should expect that number to get back up to the mid to high 90s before anything normalizes. And we still have yet to find out if there's any permanent damage. And as the refineries come back online, we will probably see a fire or two. Hopefully they're contained in that sort of 4% of the refinery that usually is out for some sort of maintenance. And then we've got refinery turnarounds coming because we're out of the summer driving season for the most part. So so there's a lot of refinery utilization data that the market is going to make use of as it di dictates whether crude prices are going to shoot up toward 55 or head back down to that 44, 45 area that we saw a few weeks back. This is Bob Iacchino talking crude oil futures from the CME Group trading floor in Chicago.